New at nine, a surfaced video shows a San Francisco art gallery owner hosing down an unhoused woman in front of his business yesterday morning. And now some people are calling for action, including the newly appointed San Francisco Board of Supervisors president, who says this gallery owner should be charged. Crown 4's Ellis Ogamonian has been following this story for us. Video captured the moments on Monday when San Francisco business owner Collier Gwynn sprayed a woman sitting on the sidewalk in front of his art gallery on Montgomery Street in the Jackson Square neighborhood. An employee of the cafe next door said he started recording when he heard her scream while he was on his way to work. Sometimes you can do more than one video. that you tell in the community what's happening in your city, what's going through in the city. Sometimes you do that to remind the people who we are. Garcia and others on that block say they have seen that woman sitting there for the past few weeks, refusing help and wanting to be left alone. She's kind of new to the neighborhood, but she's been here for a couple of weeks. I can never understand a word she says. Gwen's actions sparked anger throughout the community, and the next day someone shattered the glass of his front door, while another business named Barbarossa, seen in the background of the video, was mistakenly targeted by outraged viewers. I uh, saw this morning and was extremely outraged and frustrated and disappointed by what I witnessed. Um, since then, it's been um, a little bit challenging because the individual in the video is in no way affiliated with Barbarossa. Lounge owners did call the city's social services to connect the woman with help, which people nearby witnessed. They were just here on Friday and they spent a couple hours talking to her and they moved her down to the end of the street and they said there's nothing that can be done. They say the only thing they can do is have her put into a conservatorship. While Gwyn has not answered a request for comment, he told the Chronicle that he called police and social services, then told her to move, and she allegedly threw trash bins and yelled back. He was quoted saying, I'm only sorry that my way of helping her countlessly has gotten nothing done. The Department of Homelessness and Supportive Housing says business owners should call 311 in cases where the unhoused may be blocking entrances or having an episode. The street crisis response team, also known as SKIRT, then makes contact and offers that person information on available services. The Coalition on Homelessness Executive Director Jennifer Friedenbach explains the process requires more resources to function as intended. Um, ideally, what would happen is, is that they would, they would be assigned intensive case manager. Unfortunately, you know, there's thousands of people on the wait list. Um, the other thing that needs to happen is um, we need to make sure once people are in treatment, that they are stabilized in housing that's appropriate for their need. The following day, an ambulance with skirt was on the scene. Friedenbach confirms this woman in the video was offered to go to a congregate shelter, but she said that is not appropriate for a person who might be severely mentally ill and disruptive. San Francisco Board President Aaron Peskin tweeted, my office is well acquainted with the victim and have been trying for many months to get her support from Department of Public Health. DPH has not commented for this report. Friedenbach went on to say their relationships with unhoused neighbors take time to establish trust to connect them with proper support. Meanwhile, Board Supervisor Peskin tweeted tonight that SFPD Central is compiling a full police report and soliciting witness statements to ensure this man is charged. In the newsroom, Ella Sigamonian, Cron 4 News.